Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Hedera Hashgraph, HBAR. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, you can tap the like button too. I'd really appreciate that. I've also got some affiliate links in the description below. If you sign up for one of those, uh, you'll get a bonus, and I'll get a bonus, so we both win. And uh, if you're not following me on Twitter yet, please do. You get more up-to-date information on the charts, and I can put things out on Twitter a lot faster than I can uh, uh, post a video on YouTube. So, there's that. Okay, HBAR. On the weekly time frame. So... I was kind of looking at this chart. I was uh, a big fan of HBAR back in this double bottom back here. And um, yeah, it's got a lot of potential. Uh, <clears throat> I like this project a lot. And uh, I, I see a good move possibly in the future. Now, we are in a bear market still. So, you know, when that big move is going to come. Could be now, could be... You know, I, I kind of get this feeling that we were going to have some kind of a retracement now with the crypto market, uh, especially if the dollar, the DXY, can break below a specific uh, support line that it's just about resting at right now. Um, so yeah, we're on the edge of our seats here, just waiting to see what the DXY does and see if the crypto market can continue to move up. But HBAR has been putting in some interesting stuff here, so let's take a look. On the weekly time frame, we had... Somewhat of a double bottom here. I don't usually like to call these double bottoms because double bottoms usually uh, come at the bottom of a fall, like what we're kind of putting in right now. Uh, so this one's kind of going up and then creating this double bottom. I mean, it is a double bottom, but um, yeah. I mean, textbook, in my opinion, would have it coming, uh, the double bottom being created um, when, you're, when you're in a fall, when you're falling in the market. I should say. Anyway, so yeah, so we did have whatever this is, double bottom. It was trading sideways in this range for quite a while. <clears throat> Let's see what we had here. Yeah, roughly, I mean, just almost a year it was trading sideways like that. Then it had a big impulse to the upside. Uh, and then again, traded sideways and had a drop uh, to the downside. Now, interestingly enough, the um, we had this sideways move. If you want to call it a double bottom, whatever. But the RSI was kind of just hovering uh, right around the 50 line and trying to get up to uh, the green line up here. Uh, right now, we are like deep down in the red. Um, so, I mean, it kind of makes me think that if we are going to have a big move for HBAR coming and we do get another impulse like that, I mean, you can see with the RSI that after we had the impulse, we came up into the 80 to 85 range uh, on the RSI. And uh, obviously, you can't sustain that kind of a move. So, you know, we fell back down. Then we came up to just a little bit higher, uh, roughly, and then we had a big fall. But if we had a big impulse from where we're at now, there's a lot more room on the RSI uh, to run uh, to get a larger move, possibly. So, um, also, I, I took a Fibonacci from this bottom right here to the top. And so we've come down to, you know, the bottom in my opinion. I mean, if this is not the bottom, HBAR is in big trouble because HBAR will fall below the 786, which brings us, you know, below previous uh, price action, which means that we're probably in a longer downward spiral or at least sideways trading for a lot longer period of time. But um, so in my opinion, we found the bottom for HBAR. Uh, if there's any hope for HBAR in the near future or even in, you know, couple of years from now. So I do expect possibly to have an impulse to come back up to not only retest the 618 here, uh, but also that'd be where the 20 EMA is located. And uh, so we can either break through that or we can just continue on with this, you know, sideways action in here, which HBAR is known to do for, for quite some time. Uh, but I mean, once we get that impulse to get out of here, let me get rid of this fib here. I'm going to put a new fib on here and just kind of give a very, very, very long-term price uh, prediction here. So, I mean, obviously, if we're going to make a new high, we got to get above 57 cents. I mean, even just 
getting back to the all-time high. That's a 900% move. So if this is, in fact, the bottom for HBAR, and we do get back to the previous all-time high, which I do think we will do because HBAR is a pretty strong project, um, I mean, that's a massive move. So, I mean, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's grab another fib. Oh, I got one though. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and put some uh, other lines on here. So, I mean, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm really big into the 1618 and the 1272. And do I think that a dollar is possible for HBAR? Yes, I do. I think that uh, if we did get that big of impulse, uh, we would possibly come up to right around here. And if we do the same kind of price action, maybe, you know, this one right here. Actually, let's see what, what that was. So from top to bottom here. Uh, so we had the price action around the 1272, and then it jumped up, and it looks like it's at the uh, 2 or... Let's see. Yep, right around the 2. So we hit the 2, and then we had a rejection. And did we get... How much higher did we get? Uh, let's go to that one. Yep. Yep. Right there. The two, two, seven, two. Perfect. So we came up on the second push up here to the two, two, seven, two. Uh, I, I think that that might be, uh, I don't think we're going to go there honestly, cause, uh, that's going to bring us all the way up to $10 roughly, maybe 11. I think we have a better chance of getting a top out right around the two. Um, I would say, so this is my opinion and it's only based off my gut feeling for how these Fibonacci's play out. Um, but my gut feeling tells me that, you know, in this next bull run, when we get there, a $6 Hedera hash graph is possibly a good spot to be looking to cash some, some of your move out. And <laughs> I mean, if you bought right now and we get up to that area, you're looking at almost a 10,000% move. So, I mean, I'd, I'd be pretty happy with that. But uh, it's kind of where my, you know, super bullish price prediction would take me uh, for Hedera Hashgraph if we got some kind of an impulse like this one. Um, but I do think that we would probably get some kind of a rejection either around the 1272 or the 1618, come back down and retest some levels and then make our push. Maybe something like we did right here where we got the first impulse, came down, and then got the second move uh, just a little bit higher, uh, something like that. So it does look like we're forming this double, and this is more like a real double bottom, where we're falling, we create the one bottom, we create the second bottom. Now, do we have any kind of divergence going on here? Let's just take a look. We do not. Okay, yeah, because we're going up on the RSI, and we did not create a lower low. So that's actually a good sign. So as long as uh, Hedera Hashgraph can get a nice move and come back to the 20 EMA right here uh, on the weekly, uh, that'd be a pretty good move for Hedera. Let's go down to the daily and see if we see anything else coming around here. So we did have an attempted move with lots of volume coming in there, but then it just got leveled out. But that's kind of what a lot of crypto has been doing right now. We had that big impulse for Bitcoin, and then we came back down. Um, you know, I don't really see too much else going on. If you discount this big impulse right here, I mean, maybe we're at some kind of resistance, uh, a couple touch points there, you know, I guess you could play with that. Trend lines can always be moved. You had this one right here, which is where that impulse came. And then we got pushed right back down and, uh, we came back to retest it and now we're just going sideways. So really nothing happening here on the daily that looks interesting to me uh just maybe sideways action other than the fact that we're getting rejected off of the 20 ema multiple times uh we had an attempt right here an attempt right there but then we just keep getting rejected so really what you're going to be looking for is on the daily i'd really like to see us get up to this 100 ema and at least test it the 100 ema is the top of this cloud that's a really bad circle uh, right there. Uh, the 100 EMA is the top of the cloud. I'd really like to see us get up and at least test the 100 EMA, whether we get rejected or not, and then find some support down here. And then we break up and then we've, we test this 200 EMA on the daily. Uh, that's kind of what I would hope for, for Hedera Hashgraph to see any kind of move uh, to the upside. But it's going to have to, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. It looks like we're days away unless we get a really big push something like this, and we get like three days uh, of this kind of candle right here. Um, so 
Uh, yeah, let's go down even further, see if we see anything that could pinpoint a move in the near future uh, that I see. <laughs> Not really. Uh, I mean, yeah, it looks like just sideways action. And really, that's kind of the MO for uh, Hedera, is just sideways action, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, big impulse. I don't really see anything... Uh, specific here that I would be eyeing saying hey we got a big move coming uh, but I do see that we are definitely towards the bottom um, and if we're not then we're in a lot for we're in for a lot of or I guess Hedera is in for a lot of pain for a lot of years I think if we break below uh, what was what's the 786 right here when I had my other fib up there uh, yeah, so that's kind of it. I do see maybe we play out something like this, like we had back here. We had uh, one bottom, two bottom, and then a push. We got one bottom, two bottom possibly forming, and then a push maybe, which would lead us into next year. Um, and obviously it would take a while. I mean, even when we got that push, let's just start from the first to the last. I mean, that was 70 days, so two months. Uh, and we still have some some weeks to play out before we can even get back up to the 20 into the 236 so we're looking at beginning of next year to possibly even think that we're going to get a decent move out of hedera in my opinion but that's all i got for hedera if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and remember I'm not a financial advisor just a dude on his computer talk to you later